Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxi. Let's talk about the problem 55 in chapter 3. In this one, this is still the project motion, but with a hill. It looks a little bit difficult, and then now this will come together. You tell us there is a person stand at the base of a hill, so this is a slope. And we know this is slope make an angle phi with the horizontal. The next one tells us this person for a given initial speed v naught is getting, and the angle of v naught theta is given. Should the object be through so that the distance d z net up the hill as large as possible? So we need to make sure on this, what theta we can choose to make the d as large as possible. So it looks like the, we need to find the function d with the theta. Do you agree? And then we can do the de derive the d theta with the d, the, a function d with the theta. And then we do the derivation to find the angle theta to make the d maximum. So in this one, we need to find the equation between d and the theta. How can we do that? There, we can see this is a hill, and we can use a function to describe it. If this is x, this is y, so this hill must satisfy the equation y equal to x tangent to y. Agree? Yes. And then for the project motion, we can get its initial velocity at x component and also at a y component. Agree? Yes. And the next one we see is for project motion. The velocity at the x component is constant, so we use this one to find it. And we ox times t. And also we can find the, uh, in y component, it is initial velocity at the y component, we oy t plus one half a t squared. Their acceleration pointing down is uh, g, so we keep next negative sign there. So in this one, we can see we can find the this is x position, this is y position. When this uh, object land at zero, so this is x, this is y, and this x and the y must also satisfy this equation. Do you agree? Yes. So we can solve the problems in this way. Now we can see, in this one, we can find, uh, we can solve the t, right? We can get the t equal to x divided by v o x there. t equal to uh, x divided by v o x, this one. And then we input the t inside, we can get the function y with x. Do you agree? y with x for the project motion. And in this one, we know this equation must satisfy, satisfy the hill equation, y equal to x tangent to phi. So we, we put it there, x tangent to phi equals to this function. With x tangent to phi, and uh, subtract this term minus this term. And then in this one, we can solve the equation. We get the function x with the theta, agree? Okay? x with theta. Now we solve this equation, we get x with the theta. But our purpose is to get the function d with the theta. So we can replace the x with d. Because in this one we know x equal to d cosine phi. Because this is d, we can say this is phi, so x is d cosine phi. So we put d cosine phi in, in, inside. And then see? d cosine phi inside, we can get the function d with, with the fun at the variable is theta. See? We get this function. This is our purpose. We get this function to describe d by the variable theta. And we can see this in, inside this one, phi is constant, g is constant, and when when not is constant. We get this function and then the problem asks you to find uh, what angle theta should object be uh, so that the distance d is as large as possible. 
So in this one, we need to take to find the maximum of the distance. We need to get the der derivative of d with respect to theta equal to zero. Agree to find the maximum. So take the derivative, take derivation d with the theta, and then we make sure it equal to zero. In this way, we can solve it. We get the function theta equal to one half, uh, arc tangent and negative, uh, one over tangent phi. In this one, it looks com com a little bit complicated, and we can just uh, simplify this equation. In this one, we know, at the first we look at this uh, equation, it is a little bit confusing, because we see the negative side there. And uh, in order to just uh, get its appropriate values, we need to consider it, uh, give it the 180 degree or pi to be added, right? to convert the negative tangent phi. So we add the pi there. So we add ten, pi there. And then we can solve it. So you can see this term, how can we solve it? So 1 over tangent phi is cotangent phi, agree? And the cotangent phi as is negative, and then we can just uh, simplify it equals to this one, and it is just a phi negative pi phi minus pi divided by 2 and then we times one half the uh, for this term and it is just a phi plus pi divide, uh, divided by 4. Thank you.